Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an interactive video using Doodly and Voomly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Interactive videos are a great way to engage your audience and keep them interested in what you have to say. Why? Well, because viewers can choose exactly what they want to watch. Today, we're going to use Voomly to add some interactivity to some Doodly videos. If you're not aware, Voomly is the parent company of Doodly and its namesake software is really neat. There's an update coming out soon and it may already be out by the time this video is published where your Doodly account will include limited access to it. So I encourage you to try it for yourself. In an earlier tutorial, I created two nearly identical Doodly real estate videos, but they were tailored to different audiences. The first was for first-time home buyers, and the second was for move-up buyers. As you can imagine, these two different buyers have different needs. So interactive videos allow you to show only the information that's relevant to that particular person. Not only that, you're not wasting their time with information that's not relevant. Your business likely has different target audiences with different needs as well. So let's go ahead and get started on making an interactive video. We're going to use those same videos that we created a few weeks ago as well as this little intro video that I created a few minutes ago. What I want to do is have this introductory video come on. It's super short and it's basically gonna say, hey, are you a first time home buyer or are you a move up buyer? We're giving them choices. And then they're gonna click the button that corresponds to who they are. And when they do that, the appropriate video is gonna play. And then at the very end of the scene, I wanna have a picture come on that's clickable that says, hey, click here to see my current listings. And they're gonna click that, and then it's gonna take them to a website with all the current listings so that they can schedule a showing or do whatever it is they need to do. So the first thing we need to do, aside from creating videos, which I've already done, is go on into Voomly and get those uploaded. Now it's my understanding that with the update, Doodly will be interconnected with Boomly and you can export your videos directly to it. Now I've already uploaded my videos. All I did was I just dragged them right into the folder. This is my introduction one and you'll see I have a little preview over here. If I click over here on configure player, this little gear icon, I get to this interface and this is where we're going to add a good amount of our interactivity. The first thing we want are those buttons. So if you notice here, there's a timeline with a little play button. So if I hit play, we'll see the video. I'm Pamela Jones. In this video, we're going to be talking about the home buying process in Los Angeles. However, that process does vary depending on your specific needs. So please tell me, are you a first time home buyer or a move up buyer? Okay, so right in here, Please tell me, are you a first time home buyer? This is where we want our first button to come on. So we have this button. You just drag it over and there it is. It says button. And we're gonna type in first time buyer. So that's our first choice. And then we wanna do a second button. And we're gonna type in move up buyer. You have these little handles where you can line them up however you'd like. Be equal to right about there on this one. Something like that. Now, I don't know about the blue, you can change the color. We're just gonna go with purple just for fun. Why not? And do that on the second one. Now, we're not done configuring the button just yet, but I need to do a few other things before we start telling these buttons what to play. So, let's go over here to interactive video. We want to save our changes. Yes, we do. Now, I need to tell Voomly that I'm creating an interactive video. So I want to create a funnel. I want to give it a name. We're going to call it Acme Real Estate Funnel. Now we have our workspace here. Now don't get intimidated. It's going to look a little different from what you might be used to. Let's go ahead and click on my Doodly folder and my Acme Real Estate folder. Here are my three videos. So I have my intro. So I'm just going to drag it and that first one becomes my start and then I'm going to have my second one and then my third one okay so these are my two choices 
Now I'm going to go ahead and click Acme intro once again, and then my pencil icon, because I want to go back and work on those buttons because now those buttons are going to understand that they're part of this funnel. So here we are. And if I go back to my button, I click here on click. I now have some choices here. Instead of do nothing, I want it to play a video. Well, what video? Well, now that it's linked to the funnel, it's going to give me these two choices. So this is my first time home buyer button. So I want the first time home buyer video. And I have also another choice. I can pause my current video, just make it stop with these buttons, or it can continue playing if I don't pause it. It's fine if it continues to play in my example. And then I could dim the background, which I do think is nice because then the buttons stand out a little bit. So I am gonna dim it. And then I want to do the same thing for my move up buyer button. So I'm going to select that and on click, I'm going to tell it to play a video, which video? Well, this is the move up buyers one. And again, I want the dimmed background. So that comes on just perfectly. Go ahead and save your video. Go back to interactive video. Okay. So now we're back in our interactive funnel. And you'll notice a few things. There's some lines here connecting the different videos. Okay, so we can move them around if we want. And you'll see from the intro, which is our start video, it says first time home buyer and it's connected to the first time home buyer video. And then move up buyer is connected to this one, to the move up buyer video. So that's exactly what we want. Now you can add additional videos right here if you'd like, and then connect them just by dragging from the plus sign to the video. Your funnel can become very complex if you'd like. Today, we're gonna keep it simple. So let's go ahead and save this. And now that it's saved, we can preview it by clicking preview. We could share it, we get a share link, or we could embed it, we get an embed code that we could put right into our website. Well, I'm gonna do share right now. And I get this link that I copy to the clipboard. And let's go ahead and go into a browser and paste that. And this is your actual live video. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that button worked. I'm Pamela Jones. In this video, we're going to be talking about the home buying process in Los Angeles. However, that process does vary depending on your specific needs. So please tell me, are you a first time home buyer or a move up buyer? Okay, so now we make our choice. I'm going to say first time home buyer. Hi, I'm Pamela. I'm a real estate agent and automatically play. I help first time home buyers buy their first home in the Los Angeles area. If you're thinking about buying, pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, so let's go back into Boomly. I want to add my little clickable call to action. And let's do it on the move up buyer one. We could do it on both. We probably would want to do it on both, but for today's purposes, let's do this. So I have my video. I want to position my playing head towards the end, right? And I want an image. So I'm just going to drag the image button over here. And notice how it comes in right at the end where my playhead is. On click, what do I want it to do? Well, I want it to go to a URL. So I'm going to tell it open URL. And right now by default, it just says boomly.com. Well, you would enter whatever your website is. Today, let's just say doodly.com. Just for fun, we're gonna pretend it's Acme Real Estate new listings page. But for now, this is our purpose. So let's deal with the actual image real quick. We wanna position it. I think that'll be fine right underneath the phone number like so. And we need the actual image. So let's hit upload image, browse. And here it is. Move that slightly. And maybe I don't want it to come in just yet. Maybe right after that. So what I can do is take my cursor and just drag it over. So now it's going to appear then. Select the image again. And we can decide, do we want to pause the video, dim its background or what? Let's go ahead and pause it and let's dim it slightly. Click save. Let's go ahead and refresh this. 
and this time we're going to select the second video, the second choice. Move up buyer. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. And there's our clickable image. And you notice in the graphic, I went ahead and wrote click here to view current listings. And when you click it, there we go. We're going to, in our example, doodly.com, which we're pretending is acmerealestate.com. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly and Boomly together to create interactive, build your own adventure videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.